Now at four, a downtown business targeted by someone who used a manhole cover to break in. And this isn't the only time it's happened. Good afternoon, I'm Juan Fernandez. And I'm Amy Johnson. In today for Suzy Sa, this is KCAL 9 News at 4, streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. Now, only on KCAL mm -hmm. 9, the owner of a downtown LA diner says he's fed up with trying to protect his business after a burglar smashed through his door with a manhole cover. That's right, and others in the neighborhood say crime is on the rise as LAPD tries to step up enforcement. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal is live in downtown LA at the D-Town Burger Bar. Jazz. Yeah, Juan and Amy, so you can see it looks like business as usual here, but look at this. This diner no longer has a front door because the glass was shattered during this burglary, and the owner says he has to spend the night here to protect his restaurant. As he says, other businesses have simply left because it's just too dangerous. Security video shows a man in a red sweatshirt smashing through the front door of D-Town Burger Bar early Monday morning. He used this manhole cover to break in and made off with $1,500. Broke the door and stole the register with the money. The owner, Pedro Mojaro, rushed down to his old-fashioned diner when the alarm went off. He tried searching for the suspect who appeared to be riding a bike. Well, I saw the, the window and everything gone, so I went and looked for the guy all over downtown for like three hours, but I couldn't find him. So Maharo had no choice but to get right back to work serving up breakfast and burgers to customers, even without a front door. A replacement won't come until next Friday. It means he has to stay here 24-7 to protect the place. The LAPD says his diner was one of at least two burglaries that same morning on this block. Maharo says he heard there were as many as nine. I get mad because they keep doing this over and over. Poor guy. I've been knowing he's been, he was the cook there. Now he's the owner. Stacy Baker works security at the apartment building two doors down. It's just tough around here now. Crime is getting worse on six and spring. Signs are posted on the street warning people the area is being monitored by LAPD video cameras. Another sign reads special enforcement zone, an effort to keep the sidewalks clear. But so far, business owners say not much seems to be working to stop the crime. <laughs> Lynn and Gilbert Curry own a sunglass wholesale shop a few streets down on 4. After 5, 5.30, we are done. We are done. I mean, I just, I don't let anybody in, period. Bye-bye. Yeah. We go home. Back at D-Town Burger Bar, Maharo says he is running out of options on how else to protect his business that he worked so hard to buy. I'm here every day, all day, except for Sunday. That's my only day out. I'm back out here live. There's Pedro right behind me in the kitchen getting ready for a long night ahead of him. The LAPD says no arrests have been made. Live here in downtown LA, I'm Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News.